Oh boy, oh boy. Ain't I late to the party. <laughs> uh, a Nintendo Direct released yesterday. And I was like, you gotta Hello be fucking again. kidding me, Nintendo. You would release this without warning at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, when I hadn't slept the night before. I had pulled an all-nighter because I was up all night playing Animal Crossing and then cleaning my house and then prepping things for like videos and stuff that I want to get done before Persona 5 The Royal comes out. And they're just like, here's a Nintendo Direct Mini, almost half an hour with like a bunch of news and information. And I'm like, I can't react to this. I can't stream this. I'm too exhausted. I was supposed to stream it yesterday and uh, that didn't end up happening either because I was like, all right, I'm going to do this then. I'll stay up all night. I'll, you know, I'll freshen up, whatever. Go to take a shower. No hot water in my house. No hot water in my kitchen sink, my shower, my bathroom sink. And I'm just like, okay, I guess I just won't like exist for however long it takes to fix this. So I had to go to my mom's house to go and take a shower. And then for some strange reason, this morning, my water's fixed. I don't know what the hell it was. It didn't snow or anything. So I'm like the, the pipes didn't freeze up or burst or anything like that. Like they would if it was like the winter time. So I want to be transparent with you guys going into this. I have not seen. I, I know about two things about this direct because the internet exists. And I also have a discord server. And uh, I'm also on Twitter relatively like frequently. Uh, I know that they talk about Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I guess they have a release date and they show more about the game. That's not really a spoiler because I have played bits and pieces of the original and they announced it at the last direct. Uh, I think like at E3, I think is when they announced it. And I do know about, I guess they teased the Smash Brothers character for arms. Uh, I don't think it's i've never played the game I, so like the character whoever they get in the game I, i'm gonna be excited regardless it's not Springman because i think he's already an assist trophy unless they decide to change that and make him an actual playable character which if that's the case then i'm never gonna fucking stop hearing people being like waluigi for smash even though he's an assist trophy so if they fucking do that it's gonna be like I'm not ready. I'm not ready to deal with the comments and the amount of memes coming out for people who are going to still ask for Waluigi for Smash if they make Springman an actual playable character. I think it's going to be that chick with the ass. I, I say the chick with the ass because that's really I, I don't play the game. That's all I see. Like, it's the girl that you always see her from the backside. I don't know who the hell it is, Hello again. but you guys, if you guys played arms, you guys know who I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Nintendo Direct mini live stream. I'm a day late and a dollar short, uh, but I'm going to be jumping into this, checking out whatever they announced uh, between yesterday and today. Like I said, going into it, I know about the Xenoblade stuff. I know about the tease for the Smash character, but other than that, fresh going into this as blind as possible. I'm going to be starting and stopping as I go. We have 300 people in here live, so I greatly appreciate y'all tuning in. But with all that said, let me know how the audio is once we jump into it, just so I can make sure everything is on the up and up. But with all of that said, let us get underway in three, two, one, now. Whew. Ah, uh, okay. Please note, due to COVID-19 release dates and other information presented in this video are subject to change. For potential updates, please check the official Nintendo website and social media channels, as well as those of other publishers. Our hearts go out to all those who are impacted by COVID-19 during this challenging time. It is so crazy how the entire world is affected by this. Not even just like entertainment, not even just like events, conventions, game, like just like lives, like common like everyday people's lives like companies and and developers and stuff like that it's crazy man but yeah i mean if things get changed if announced if, if games get pushed back whatever that's the least of our worries in 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 all seriousness oh okay i think that's a little too loud let me put that down a bit okay all right here we go Yo, show two great titans came into existence the Bi bionis and the mechanis right and the Maconis. Yeah. Xenoblade the Chronicles Titans Definitive Edition. In timeless battle. Let me know how the audio is, guys. <clears throat> it's Rhyme Time! Oh, I can't Until wait! Last, I can't wait for the battle quotes. Only their lifeless corpses remained. Wow. Let's go! Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The metal fit. Huh? Yo! Let's go! No way. It's a mech. Wow. Okay. So really quick, 
really quick little loud like the my like the oh wow really okay hold on let me let me do one of these really quick how's that how's this okay we'll lower that so really quick i just want to give a little disclaimer about my experience with the original xenoblade chronicles okay i think i played about half of this game and then i never picked it up again i never finished it i made it up until the point where you get ricky in your party okay um i know about fiona at the beginning i know about like the metal face and all of the mech you know all the mech on showing up destroying shulk's town spoiler alert by the way if you haven't played this game i won't say too much about anything else beyond that but like i have not i never finished this game and i vaguely remember bits and pieces of it i know about shulk about fiona about ryan uh the sniper chick that you get on your team um you know dunban's whole thing at the beginning of the game and uh a little bit of ricky when you get him in your party i didn't really do much beyond that so i don't remember i never found out about like the monado's power i never found out about like why the metal faces talk why they're immune like i think they're immune to the monado too i never found out anything about that I just knew at the time for what I played, I really liked this game. And then I never played the sequel. I never played Xenoblade Chronicles X or even Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So this is my opportunity to go back and play it because I've always wanted to go back. I still have it in my in my drawer for the Wii. Um, I just never went back to it and I, I never made it further than that. And obviously I lost my original file. But um, I really did appreciate and enjoy the game. I loved the uh, the affinity system uh, that you ha that you can get like uh, kind of like boosts to your character based on the affinity of of spending time and like linking up with certain characters. I loved the combat system too, um, but I just never got far enough and I never found out everything about the game. So um, so yeah, I'm like that. So that's just the thing. I'm getting hyped and excited because I know some of this game, but I don't know everything. So just keep that in mind. Also, Shulk and Smash was pretty hype when it was announced. Con okay. The assault yeah, so this is like audience. early game stuff. I remember a lot of this. This shit looks so good. It's yeah, the only sword that that's effective Monado. against the mech. I also don't know if I got if all the Monado abilities either. Unlock the Monado's power. <laughs> it's my <laughs> turn. Yo, what up, no, dumb man? It'll kill you. How's your arm, Shulk. dude? <laughs> oh man, yeah. There was something strange, dude. It was as if I could see into the future. The future. This shit was so <laughs> hype, man. I know you won't so this, good. But Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you hey, could do that. Hey, the sniper girl. It's not me. It's the power of the <laughs> it's Monado. It's the power of the Monado. And so Yo! it begins. The power plays. The resurrection of the Bionis. Mm. A lot of these places I never see. Like, got the talking one. The future I see. I never found out about that. Set. Why they talk? So I can use this power to change the future. Um, they, exactly they would show that scene, dude. Ooh, the music. The, the metal it's face. It's not over. Holy shit! The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god, in May. Jesus Christ, another RPG to deal with? I don't know if I'm seeing any spoilers here. I don't know who that girl is. I don't know what it... Oh, what? More content? Future... Dude, they made new... An epilogue! Oh my god! If the capital is on the shoulder. There are people there. <gasps> I thought you'd want now to Now I definitely have to play. Everyone's gonna want to play this again. Even old fans. That's so crazy. I don't know if I should be looking at this right now. <laughs> wow! The ultimate version of a modern classic. Oh, Xenoblade Chronicles the Definitive music is Edition. So good. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother oh than ever before. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm streaming this, guys. I don't know when I'll stream it. I don't know. Are easy I'm already going to have Persona 5 on my hands. And then Final Fantasy. Oh, this is great. Is this, some of the this music is new? Has been re -recorded. New music? Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast <laughs> world. <laughs> Alright, I guess Shulk's like, I've had it. Epilogue, I'm out. A new story. A new Future epilogue. Connected will cap off the main game. So if wow. you've played and loved the original game, you, you have a reason to play it again. It, but yeah. Look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. That's crazy. That's so smart. 
It's way better to incentivize people to play an old game if there's new content. Launches on May 29th. Very happy about that. The game starting today. Oh, also coming on May 29th, Twitch? the Xenoblade Chronicles <laughs> Definitive Works set Ooh. will pack in a 250-page art book. Nice. Are they going to have a collector's edition or something? Or just that? A hard book? Hi, everyone. That's pretty welcome dope. welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. What's so many about it? Upcoming Nintendo Switch games. All right, we got 20 minutes left. On a selection of them the new content was original year. cut content. Now, okay. let's roll through some headlines, shall we? That makes sense. It's always good to save Three that cut 2K's stuff. Most 2K are coming soon to the Nintendo Switch system. Like 2K Sports? <laughs> like NBA 2K? Oh, I mean, it's the publisher. Yo, Bioshock! Oh, Border... Okay, Bioshock, Borderlands. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Please play Bioshock if you haven't played it. <laughs> I love the Bioshock trilogy. I wish I'd never played it. I'd love to stream it nowadays, but like... It's such a fantastic trip. I, I heard they're making Bioshock 4, if I'm not mistaken. It's obviously not Kev Levine. I think it's 2K and a different developer. But um, I'm so hyped. I, I love Bioshock. Can barely hear the video. Okay. <clears throat> How, how's the audio now? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why the audio changed out of nowhere. <clears throat> yeah, so we have uh Oh, okay. So Borderlands 1, 2, and 3. I just played Borderlands 3 last year when it released. So that's actually pretty cool. Wait, did I miss something? What game is this? Is this aliens? Oh, XCOM. Okay, I don't know anything about XCOM. The Colonial Marines game, right? <clears throat> Holy shit, 2K's popping off. The XCOM collection. Damn, more people. Space off in a new trailer for the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order Expansion Pass. Okay. I I know nothing about This is nothing new on the channel, guys. Y'all already know me. I've never I don't know shit about Marvel, so this kind of is just over my head <laughs> but yeah i'm like really stoked about that more people can play bioshock for the first time or at least play it again for the you know on the switch i feel like the switch is an excuse to play a lot of old games again hey the thing of course oh wait a minute fantastic four wasn't that like owned by fox for so long and now it's like going down without a fight doesn't like disney own that now we have a universe to save I was about to say, I haven't seen Fantastic Four in so long. That's good. Good shit. Time, <clears throat> I don't know who that guy is. I know that's prepares. Dr. Doom or, yeah, Mr. Doom or whatever. I remember him from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Your hair looks fabulous. Doom yeah, my girlfriend, like, God she's like, himself. Arnold, you should grow your hair out. And I'm like, I guess I will. The, the, the only problem with that is because of the, like, because of quarantine and all that stuff, my barber's shut for the next three weeks. So I'm like, my hair is going to get pretty crazy. In the darkest depths of the ocean lies mm. a really fun game. Shinsekai? Into you the depths? the last of the Ooh. human race, forced by a global winter Ooh. into an unexplored aquatic world. This looks this nice. Oh, this game. looks nice. You resources to upgrade your gear craft items and dive deeper into I the like abyss. it is this like metroidvania format As you explore increasingly hostile environments you better watch oh those shit oxygen and pressure levels <laughs> oh god this that's is a game that's gonna enough. stress me out Shinsukai's I'm like no I can't drown <laughs> another dive boasts a perilous maze for you to race through culminating with a this final cool. monstrous threat you know it's neat it can get pretty heavy down there so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature Oh. It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. Interesting. The time has come That's to cool. discover the truth hidden beneath the Shin ocean Sakai surface. Into when Shin the Sakai depths. Into the Depths launches oh, on Nintendo Switch today. Oh, it's out right now! Today. Wow. I'm about to get that. That looks really nice. Yo! Live your best free update! Yo, life, Animal Crossing! Free update. I've been playing that shit every single day since it's come out. <laughs> Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons oh, game? Oh, man. Well... 
Whether you're already in God, living, it's already the out. Yeah, what came out at the perfect time too? There's an the event perfect coming up time. And we're happy to spill the beans or crack the eggs. Oh, the bunny day. You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, I think it's uh. One zipper T Bunny will visit your oh. island in celebration of Bunny Day in early Legit. April. Legit. Get a freaking bunny Can rabbit. An Easter. Zipper head everywhere. Oh my God, an Easter hunt. What? Even in the <laughs> plus, you can craft these special limited time items. Ah, uh, that's series. so sick. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year. This wow. time from April first. The first to, April to 12th. the twelfth. So be sure to participate. I'm gonna no like this what? game during There's April. Another free update <laughs> coming later in April. What really? It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, Earth Day. We'll continue to bring you the latest on Holy updates and more shit, via the official dude. Animal Crossing Twitter account. Yo, make sure you're following Animal Crossing too. on Twitter. So, stay tuned. Wow. Dude, I can't wait till the snow season. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Later this April. Well, I'm gonna get the snow season before y'all because I'm on the southern hemisphere. Because my girlfriend's hey, on the northern hemisphere, Someone's so we hiring. wanted to cover each other's back. Now oh, hiring. This is your dad's company? <laughs> Apparently, they offer a wide range of services. Um? The job description yeah, my dad's popping responsibilities. off. responsibilities. You'll deliver items. <laughs> mop the floor. Oh, God. And maintain a comfortable work environment. Interesting. Oh! They're trusting you with crane Damn! Operation. Look at all and that freaking other tough tasks. collateral damage. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh oh, that projector won't do. Yeah, you're gonna ruin mm, your dad's think company. You can take care of that. This is a nice looking game. When you conduct yourself in a professional manner, <laughs> or opt for more creative solutions. Oh my! Do what you need to do to get the job done. Uh, this looks fun as fuck. Oh my god! This looks fun as fuck. Hopefully, you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Why haven't you been because fired good already? Job launches today. <laughs> Wow, a lot of these games announced today. Catherine, That's two games. Yo, body, Catherine Full Body. Adventure puzzler is Legit. coming to Nintendo Switch. Uh, I, I, none of you guys know this, but I actually own Catherine Full Body for PlayStation. I'm just waiting for the right time to stream it. I have nothing. I have no time for like any new games besides what I'm currently planning on playing. But I do own this game now. <clears throat> Contemplating the next step in his relationship. I have no idea about the game yet. I've never played it. Finds himself pulled into the allure of a new love. I just Looks know like that Port there's is caught in a love two Catherines. Catherine. Catherine yeah. With a C and Rin. Catherine with a K. Little does and he know, Rin, temptation Catherine. might lead to his own demise. I see. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold. I know this is another Atlas weirder. game, and I know there's Persona, Persona Five DLC, Vincent right? Not with guilt during the day. He's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night. Oh, it's a puzzler game. This is the first time I'm seeing gameplay on puzzle it. Blocks that he must climb in order to survive. Oh shit! And see another day. This actually looks really Find fun. Love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark. I've never seen gameplay on this. This is very different from Persona. When Catherine Full Body releases on Nintendo July seventh. July seventh. Definitely looking forward to that now. A yeah, it has, it's Persona graphics. Adventure game will pump up its audio. Nice. Ring, wait, is that Ring Fit? I own Ring Fit as well. Oh! Oh my God! That's Mix so things up smart. With the new rhythm game mode. If you Are want you to set a high score, you gotta get your body moving to the beat. Oh my God! Of, yo, there I'm about to become a Ring Fit streamer, game. dude. <laughs> We're talking music what? from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and the Legend of Zelda: crazy. Breath of the Wild. That's so freaking clever, dude. On top of that. Um? Story mode? I feel my power returning. <laughs> oh shit! Your you went Super Saiyan! Ring will now have a female voice option. Mm. And you'll also be Surprised that wasn't an languages. option to begin with. Feel That's so cool. Yo, we're want. going Japanese with it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, it has Breath of the Wild We're also too. Also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom oh, and quick play modes. Oh, that's clever too. A when jogging you're not in a battling mood. You can, you can just run, run. A variety of fields. That's really cool. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure. Oh my God! Game everything's announcing today. today. Good shit. I own Ring Fit as well. Me and Caitlin are trying to like 
play it together. So that's actually really you better open the gates. Really good. One treasured TRPG approaches. Tactical RPG. Since 1990, the King's Bounty series has King's been influencing Bounty. the evolution of Western RPGs. I have no RPGs. idea about this game. I actually do and enjoy back with a fresh tactical a RPGs. I haven't played it since Onimusha this Dawn of Dreams on the D on the, Army. the Game Boy Sending Advance. On a that's like my favorite one. That's one of my only the world. strategy time, RPGs the graphics that I've played. Are more your it's like grid based and all that ever. stuff. <clears throat> is the terrain you stand on. Good so shit. Master your surroundings. Let like me guess. Master is this out now are. too? <laughs> Across the land. Yeah, yesterday. Sorry, you know what I mean. It's technically out today still because system. it came out yesterday, so I'm not wrong. Find out just how deep the gameplay <clears throat> will get when Good King's shit. Bounty 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this year in 2020. Okay, not bad. A lot of good games getting announced. How is this a mini? How is this a Super direct? Smash Brothers Ultimate Bro. News approaches. <laughs> the fighter included in Wave Six of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate okay. DLC. Okay, I already be... know about this one. It's the arms tease, right? They teased for arms. Joining I've never played this arms. game though. They already have Springman in the game though. This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms. So we'll have to extend Who is it gonna our beat? development one, two, time two. too. Please stay tuned 15 for just a characters. bit longer. The next spider will be announced and released this June. Oh, shit. Yo, please let it be June 2nd. That's my birthday. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't miss this Wait. arms game trial. And there's an arms update? A free game trial of arms will oh, be available Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. It's Nintendo like, yo, if Switch you never played members. arms These and you're excited for the next character, one thing play common, the game and see what the characters are like. So, so it's kind of good. create a slew of combinations. This shit's crazy. For a Look at this. Time, you can try out the full I've never played ARMY, so I'll definitely take advantage now, of this. Let's get stretchy. <laughs> nice. Free to play. Feeling good. I mean, I might as well just buy it, well, depending right. on how much it is. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Oh, that's right! <sighs> Didn't they announce where, this a while ago? I completely forgot I? that this was a. Uh... Can't believe I survived. I never played the original. I never played Bravely Default. What is it? Like Bravely Default and Bravely Second? Those are the two games, right? I really want to play it, man. It's just like, it's so hard to get into JRPGs because there's such a time Fire, investment. Water. Wow, this wind, looks nice. Earth. Nature's masters. <laughs> the Great Stone's power exceeds the hand of man. And if this looks unleashed, so good. It bring down death, disaster. Shane, I know you're a big uh, Bravely fan. I really want to play this. But I feel compelled to play the first two. I'm just like that. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't swear the details, eh? And don't stop on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person... I like the style. Then I've done the right thing. Bravely Default 2. I remember... I remember when Bravely Default came out. <clears throat> the original one. And I remember that, like, people were calling it, like, what Final Fantasy should have been. Like, the, the game that people, like, the thing that JRPG fans were, have been, like, like desperately waiting for for a JRPG at the time. There wasn't really much anything that was, like, itching that scratch. And I remember a lot of people comparing it to, like, early styled Final Fantasy games. So, I already know, like, they already have two other games. So, that's really cool that they're, they're following up with the third one. And it's on the Switch on top of that. <clears throat> Legit. This tale unfolds on the continent of Excellent, home to five Excellent? mighty kingdoms. <laughs> Excellent. The saga begins when our hero Seth, a young sailor, Seth. washes up on the shores of one such king. So does this follow either of the other games? Like, are they all like sequential? Like Bravely First goes into Bravely Second, Bravely Second goes into Bravely... I, I don't fucking know. Or are they all standalone? I don't think so. No. Okay. Kingdom. Separate universes. Well, All right. I don't feel I'm as alive. compelled now to Here, want to, to have to play the first Musa, two in order to play this one. Then was forced to flee her kingdom when it was destroyed by evil forces <clears throat> bent on stealing its crystals. You dare claim Princess crystals. of the Lost Kingdom, Gloria. You do not know their worth. Voice acting he too. Nice. 3D models. Determined to decipher a mysterious Crikey. and magical <laughs> book. Elvis and Adele. <clears throat> I have a certain special book to be deciphering. <laughs> We're not Elvis. friends or anything. I'm just here because he hired me. Oh my gosh, is that winter? Or why? That's As literally why. As by fate, 
Get out Our of here, dude. Our joined forces and set off together on a grand mission. White Each hair, blue eyes, you can't tell purpose. me otherwise. That just rhymed, I didn't even mean it to. stand in their way. Those who have gotten hold of special items known as asterisks. Asterisk? These stones asterisk? Allow their like asterisk? To take on jobs such as thief or black mage. Interesting. Becoming infinitely more powerful in the process. These cutscenes look really okay, neat. Let's do this. Just weird. It's just like they kind of look like almost like chibi, but not really chibi. Just the art style. I like it a lot. During battle, you brave, must decide when to use default. brave points or BP, the lifeblood of the game's turn-based system. The oh, and it's turn-based. Oh, I'm already a fan. The brave and default the brave de Oh, that's where the game's thing comes to from. Spend BP in order to allow characters to perform additional actions. Oh. <laughs> God damn! That's really Choose sick. Default to default? order a character to guard, reclaiming a BP in the process. Oh, okay. Nice. Strategically hold back or take multiple actions in one turn. To make <clears throat> the right choice, you must consider your character's roles and statuses at all times. Is this the similar system Should to the first two games? To fell an asterisk holder. You will acquire their asterisk. Allowing nice. you to take on the associated oh, job. that's sick! Jobs can be combined at will. That reminds me of, dude, that reminds me of uh, the Dress Sphere grid system in, in Final Fantasy X-2. That Lately looks super cool. He just got like that other guy's outfit. That looks sick. Development of your characters. <laughs> I'll take that. That's neat. I like that. I'm a big fan of that. Now for a little announcement. A demo oh. version oh, of the demo? game will launch today. Today, everything's announced today. In the near future, everything's coming we'll out today. A survey to gather feedback. Jobs can be combined at will. Ooh, we nice. The game. We hope exact same system. Nice. The latest Interesting. entry in Square Enix's beloved series, Fault Line. Bravely Default 2, will release this year. I love year. how Square is still putting out good shit. They're like they have like a really good stride now with the with the RPGs. Hope you're having fun. Hell yeah. Let's keep this good news train. How is this a mini direct? Please, someone tell me. How is this a direct mini? Tabletop classics from around the world. Wait, what? Wait, billiards? Poker? Blackjack? Clubhouse games. Oh. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from Yo, around the Yo, tabletop globe. game nights on the Switch? Menkala, Hanafuda. Oh my Back god! In. Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominoes, Speed, Hare and Hounds. <gasps> this is so fucking four row, smart! Connect chess, four, Chess! Shogi, mini Shogi. Shogi! <laughs> Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens. Golf. Darts, what? Texas Dude, Mobile, what? Nine Men's Morris. There's 50? High, war. Carom. Chinese Checkers. Yacht Dice. Takoyaki. Billiard. Takoyaki? X, spider Solitaire. Gomoku. Wow. Matsu, this bowling, is nuts. Shooting Gallery. Bowling? Cards, dots and Boxes. Hit and Blow. Pig's Tail. Mahjong Solitaire. Last Card. Fishing. Fondant do they have, uh, toy do they tennis, have, um, toy soccer, tic tac toe Toy Curling. Toy Boxing. Toy Baseball. Toy everything. Tanks, team Tanks. Sliding puzzle and six ball puzzle. Phew! Wow! That really is fifty-one games. Fifty-one games. And there are many ways to play them. Jesus! Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is Online, too. nice. Choose three games, match Holy up with other players, shit. and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals. Can you do like over. I, dude? I grew up playing Mancala with my family games, and Domino's. Classics launches on Nintendo June Switch. 5th. June fifth. Yo, the week of my birthday. Paper Let's go. Begins today. Nice. Wait, what happened? Oh wait, what begins today? What do you say? Fifth. Pre-purchase begins. Okay, today. Okay, pre-purchase. Okay. Wow, what a smart idea. Will the real master <laughs> ninja please stand up? Oh, that's an Eminem reference. Oh, so you're <laughs> the ultimate ninja, are you? Gung Ho well, Online Entertainment in battle. Ninjala. As one of eight players, you must earn a the most battle royale to with ninjas. <laughs> Sprint across stages. Oh and shit, show dude! Off I'm about to be Naruto. Like only you can. What? What is this, By dude? By chewing ninja gum, you can dash at high Yo, speed. Yo, Bungie gum. Yo, we Hisoka now. Disguise yourself. <laughs> 
That's so good. Look at the environment, and dude. And an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals. Oh my god, this looks hammers, so fun. To fast and flashy katanas, to tactical tricked out yo-yos. Yo, 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 yo. Your choice of equipment. My brother's going to love this game, dude. Domination and defeat. My brother's a big Ninja's fan of like yo-yos as weapons. So cement your supremacy in 4 on 4 team. 4 on 4. This is this looks so stressful. They work together. And completely unbalanced. Your efforts end in gummy disaster. Nippon, you're the master. When yeah, I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to Nintendo Switch May 27th. I'm about to and hey, fucking It's free to play too. Wow, and it's free. Check out what you Bro, can play I'm about to on become Nintendo Switch. I'm about to become the Hokage. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy Wait, what? to learn the ways of the Force. Hold on, what was the Hold on, let me back up real quick. I wasn't I was popping off for a second. Did they announce the name of What is this a Star Wars Battle Royale? Check out what you oh, can play okay. on Never Nintendo mind. Switch. That, this Enter literally looks Luke like a Skywalker's Star Wars Jedi battle. It looks Academy just like what we just saw, but Star Wars. <laughs> Customize your look, play a role in this Star Wars story, and battle online with up to Is this 16 old? players. 16? Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. Bro, everything's and get ready coming to strap out today. In because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. That's crazy. I've in never watched Star Wars, Dragon by the way, Classic, so you'll pilot the that looks kind of cool. Incredible landscapes, <laughs> battling giant creatures. That's crazy. And battleships. Oh, this is yeah, Panzer yeah. Dragoon, right? Controls and lock on target. Thank you guys for the subs. It's your destiny Appreciate it. to reach Yo, the tower what up, Michael? or die trying. Arnold, I'm so bored. Help. Yo, I'm streaming, dude. On Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Today, 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 everything today, dude. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Five Switch. Five more minutes? This is not a mini, Nintendo. Why are you trolling, bro? Trials of Mana, April 24th. Okay. Time for the hot, time for the, time for the real. Fuser. NC Soft. <clears throat> the Elder School. Oh, yeah, the mobile game. I remember that. It's coming to console now. Warhammer 40,000. I know that this game's like really popular too. <clears throat> Vigor. This looks nice. Burnout Paradise? Oh my god. Burnout's such an old school classic, dude. Oh shit, Saints Row? I used to play Burnout on the PS2 for like hours on end. Legend of Hero Trials of Cold Steel 3. I've been highly... have Oh, the demo! Another demo's out for it. Nice. Mr. Driller Drill Land. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Interesting. Oh, I really want to play this. I really want to play Minecraft Dungeon. Don't judge me. <laughs> I really want to play that game. Well, it's been fun, but wow. today's Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. Oh, okay. This I thought is it was our last over. news of the day. The last one. What is it? Oh, now, a Pokemon update. I still Pokemon haven't played this yet. Pass and I really Shield want to. Pass. With an expansion pass, the world Another of the Pokemon expansion? Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island <clears> of the sea. The Isle of Armor. The Isle of and Armor. Oh, so is this the update the on it? Tundra will be accessible in the gallery. The Crown Tundra Part it's Two. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about okay. Part One, the Isle of Armor. Okay. Wow. So they have two parts. That's on crazy. The Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles. In my own Where trainers gather dojo. to master their skills. <laughs> And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon oh. Kubfu oh. from the Master Mustard. Oh shoot! Through your training Kub with Fu? Kubfu, you will receive permission <laughs> to challenge him. the towers That's a of legendary? two fists on the Isle of Armor. In this Does he mean like legendary? Legendary? Towers, that did not look like a legendary. Or the that tower thing looked of adorable. Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Kubfu must face this challenge Kub Fu. alone. <laughs> Once you've conquered one of the towers, wow. will evolve wow. into Urshifu. Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, <laughs> it will learn single strike style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, oh, it will that learn looks rapid sick. Strike style. Dark or oh, water. Oh, I like the dark the choice one. Is yours that shit yours looks alone. sick. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon. Oh, basic legendary. Be it Rillaboom, okay. Cinderace, or Intellion. 
will gain a Gigantamax <clears throat> form as a reward for your adventure okay. on the Isle of Armor. Uh, so, okay, I'm seeing the final Pokemon's forms. Gigantamax I have not seen moves. anything on this game at all. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots. It's G-Max Drum Solo. Okay. Kicking a giant ball of fire <clears throat> to deliver a powerful shot. Yo, it's a Terra Forest. G-Max Fireball. And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's G-Max Hydro Snipe. Hydro These Snipe. These moves are stronger <laughs> than Dynamax moves. And when what? used, That's the broken as fuck. How is no it stronger than attacking. the strongest moves? Ignores opponent's abilities. That's not broken or anything. In addition to new <laughs> outfit items and hairstyles. New outfits. There will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Interesting. Now you'll have even more customization. I do plan on playing this at some point. Personality. Pokemon I really want to play this, this Pokemon pass game. I Pokemon really do. Shield expansion pass part one, I love Cup the Fu. Isle of Armor. The end of June. By the end of June. Nice. Also, for those of you who purchased the expansion pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August. 31st. Nah, that's fine. I don't need to purchase that. I don't want that. <laughs> Starting like, today, don't during pressure me to buy it. battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon and Pokemon Sword. What the heck? Those look like Bill and Yo, and Charizard <laughs> in Pokemon Shield. What? Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. Dude, that Charizard looks sick. That's all for Yo, that Nintendo Charizard looks so dope, dude. And that's everything. Holy shit. Can we have more Nintendo Direct minis if they're going to be this good? This is better than some standalone directs. Holy shit. Wow. A lot of good announcements. Yo, Nintendo never fucking disappoints, dude. I swear to God, Nintendo's always on point. <clears throat> wow. That's a lot of stuff to look forward to. That's a lot of stuff to look forward to. Wow. A lot of games got announced today. Well, technically yesterday, but a lot of those announcements are already out right now from demos to full game purchases to, I mean, they gave it, I think they gave like a release date for everything. Holy shit. <laughs> I really wish I had watched that yesterday. Now that's actually really fucking cool. Yeah. Really enjoyable. The new smash character. Um, I'm excited for it now that I can basically play arms like as a free trial because I've never played the game. I don't own it either, but, um, yeah, a couple of those games I want to pick up. Uh, that Underwater, that Shin Sakai game, I want to get that. Um, the Ninja game, d they didn't say that's out yet, right? They said that it's coming out, but it's going to be free to play. That's I'm probably going to play that a lot. That looks really, really fun. I'll play it until people just get cheap with the game, and then I'll just stop playing it before it gets ruined. Uh, but that looks really, really fun, like a Battle Royale. Um, the Star Wars game looked interesting, too. I just don't really care much for Star Wars. Uh, obviously Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition was probably the highlight, like the biggest like announcement, like, and it was the first one that they announced right off the bat, the release date, they showed off a bunch of remastered parts of the game. And on top of that, they they added new content, or I guess they added content that was originally cut from the original. So it's kind of like a full experience now. That's actually really smart. And like they mentioned too, um, it's an excuse for not an excuse, but it's a chance for fans of the series to replay the game new people who have never played it to pick it up and everyone gets new content regardless with that with that epilogue or with that yeah with the epilogue that's really 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 clever you guys weren't kidding that direct was really really good like i said first off <clears throat> what exactly was so mini about it <laughs> i i i'm still trying to understand because um that was really 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 well done and uh i understand why it could have been the fact that they had to change some things around because of you know the, the, the you know the quarantines and the virus and all that stuff but nintendo always does their directs digitally anyway so they could have easily just announced this and it could have just been a formal direct um i could understand actually you know what i take that back i could understand because like big announcements right where's bayonetta uh, you know, where's uh, the, the, the traditional, like, next Smash Brothers character announcement? Breath of the Wild 2. Um, you know, those kind of AAA announcements. I can understand 
um, where people would want to know, you know, the, the information for those games. And that feels like it's more something that should be saved for E3 season. I say E3 season because I don't know what we're going to call it now. If E3 is canceled this year, what do we call the, the time where, deve well, what do we call that? What do we call the time where, where developers and companies come together to announce games if it's if it's not E3? Um, I don't know. It's just weird. I guess the summer, but it's always been E3. That's, that's, I don't even, yeah, yeah web E3 or a E3, digital E3. There you go. We're going to, we're going to have a digital E3 year this year. And, um, I think that's where a lot of the games that people are anticipating and looking forward to Bayonetta three, uh, Metroid prime four. I doubt they're going to announce anything for breath of the wild too, just because they announced it's in development last year. But that gives them time to kind of worry or focus on other titles like um, Babylon's Fall, Platinum Games' next title, some new IP, maybe bringing back some other franchises. I'm still exp I'm still surprised that they haven't made a new Donkey Kong game for the Switch because that's something that I'd look forward to playing. And I'm not talking about like Tropical Freeze ported over. I mean like a brand new, like we got a brand new Zelda game. We got a brand new Mario game. We're getting a brand new Samus game. We're getting a, we got a brand new Smash game. Uh, you know, I think Donkey Kong is definitely deserving of, of, uh, or rather long overdue for the rest of the, especially with the rest of the game. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. That tabletop game looked really fun. That's definitely something that I can easily see a bunch of people doing with their community, myself included. I don't, I haven't played majority of those games, but like Dominoes, Mancala, Checkers, Chess. I like live for those tabletop games. Um, especially since I, I grew up playing Mancala and Dominoes with my family. Uh, so that, that's incredible that it's now digital and there's like 51 different tabletop games. That's so cool. Especially because like, and did that come out today too? Because I think it's so crazy that all of these announcements are happening. Like that tabletop game is the best thing for people to do who don't have it, who have a switch during the social distancing times. You can still do all of these socially active games with people just digitally. And it's kind of like, it brings people together in a different way. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Animal Crossing got an update. I know about that 1.10 update. Um, and uh, I've just been playing Animal Crossing nonstop. The, since it's come out, I've been playing it nonstop. I think I'm going to stream it again uh, relatively soon just because it's been a while since I played it. And it's just not, I'm just not, I'm not making a lot of, whole, lot of progress. I'm making progress on my museum and my house. I haven't made a lot of, like, I don't have the the resident services upgraded i don't have like a lot of those different kind of things focused on i still have to get a couple more villagers in my village um villagers in my village um but yeah the game's incredible and now that they're announcing this first update and another update later in the month i'm actually like super stoked kaylin's are obviously like already all over this game and we've been playing it together here and there we're actually about to play it uh after i end the stream because this is kind of all i was really planning on doing for the stream but uh, she and I are going to have uh, an Animal Crossing day together. Um, she's currently streaming right now, and I'm going to switch over to play with her. Um, and we're just probably going to, like, catch fish and help her with her village and, you know, come to my island and see her stuff. And she's going to see my stuff and all that stuff. But um, I, I'm not going to stream the game right now, uh, at least my playthrough or my portion of it, just because I was planning on playing with her for the day. But I don't want to stream, like, playing with her. I'm going to be, like, in the stream, and I'll be, like, on the mic and stuff. But uh, it's basically just going to be... I was going to go to her island because um, March is the last month to get some of the exclusive fish. And she has fish that I need because she's in the Northern Hemisphere, and I can't get them, even if I time-traveled. So, um, that's basically what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be chilling and having fun and, and all that stuff. But this was a really entertaining direct. Again, like I said, a lot of these announcements are, are like already immediate and out there. Like a lot of people, like obviously Bayonetta 3 lost in development. People are expecting a little too much from, from some of the big, big games. Like some of those big announcements, you'd expect them to be at a formal Nintendo direct, like a 30 minute, 40 minute Nintendo direct, even though this was a mini I think it was a mini because a lot of these games are like done and out there and there's nothing to kind of keep you anticipated um, besides Xenoblade, which again comes out in what, two months, less than that. But um, yeah, actually it comes out in two months. So that's already right around the corner. Animal Crossing just came out and I can easily see why they would want to get a lot of these smaller games out there first before they announce the big titles. But um, I still need the string fish. Yeah, I think I need that one too. 
Oh man, this is a great direct. This is one of the best directs I've seen or that I can think of or recall in, in recent memory besides like a standalone one like Smash or something like that. But uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, definitely picking that up. I really would like to stream it. Um, a lot of the games that are coming to the Switch as well, Catherine Full Body, uh, the Bioshock series, the Borderlands series, that's really cool too for people who've never played those. Bioshock is a fantastic... Bioshock is my favorite game of last generation if you guys didn't know. So I'd highly recommend any of you guys pick it up. It was free on PlayStation Plus last month, surprisingly. It's on last gen, it's on this gen, it's on Steam, and now it's coming to the Switch. So it's really cool that that a lot of those games are still flourishing and doing really well. And um, there's rumors, fingers crossed, that a new Bioshock is in development. So, you know, maybe that's another reason why they're getting these games out on all of these current platforms for next gen. But, um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a really entertaining direct for me. I'm actually really impressed with the quality of it. I really don't think it... I mean, I can understand no major AAA titles besides Xenoblade, but at the same time, this rivals some standard Nintendo directs, in my opinion. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Um, I do appreciate y'all tuning in. I know this was a very brief and, and like start and stop uh, uh, stream for today, but I hope you guys understand. DB Geek, if you're still here, thank you for the recent follow, my guy. I'm sorry, I was kind of like in a trance with this direct and all of the announcements and stuff. Um, but thank you guys very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I will be streaming later this week. Uh, I'll be playing Animal Crossing for the most part. Uh, next week, not next week, but the week after, I'm going to be streaming Persona 5 The Royal. That's going to be the game that I'm going to primarily focus on uh, for the next couple of months. Uh, just because that is my favorite game of all time. And I'm eager and excited. And I can't wait to get back into that game. Um, but I do want to say again, thank you to everyone who has followed the stream. Thank you guys for the subs and the resubs and the support. I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, checking out the checking out the the direct with me. I promise to be a bit more active when it comes to the chat. Uh, it was this was just something that I, I wasn't planning on streaming regardless. But again, Nintendo kind of dropped this on us yesterday. 